What's up, everybody? This is Submarine Shelf 8. Monster 617. HookahPro.com coming to you today with a nice... Tangier's review. Yay. Of course. Did Could you expect anything less? Uh, today we're doing Cashmere Peach. Um, I had the pleasure of smoking this out of Eric's Hookah at Odyssey Hookah Lounge in San Diego. He actually he wanted to show me his mouth tip, his wooden one that sun. Um, what's his name? Sent Santino. Santino made from uh, Crown Hookahs. He made him special wooden tips. If you go on the site, you can see them, but they're all sold out. Uh, so Eric has those, and he wanted me to try it out. So he let me smoke out of his hookah, and it was a great honor. Anyways, um, <laughs> so let's go into the smell and the cut. When you open it, it's very, uh, you know, typical Changiers cut. Ooey gooey, sticky, chewy, yummy. When did you add chewy in there? I don't know, but it looks chewy, doesn't it? No, I guess. Ignore that. <laughs> Somebody got a text message. No. Update of some sort. Her phone made a noise. No. Calendar. Yeah, calendar. Uh oh. Anyways. So, um, it smells very, very floral. floral. To say the least. Sorry, I'm blocking your face, aren't I? No. It's, uh... Really, really floral, really sweet, kind of burns your nose a little bit. This is obviously the cashmere. Yeah. But there's a nice underlying peach, juicy peach flavor. And, uh... It smells really good. It does. It, it's it, not too overpowering with the cashmere. The smoke can kind of give you a headache, though, if you sit there smell it for a minute. Yeah. Just a little much on that. But it smells really good, nonetheless. And we don't like floral flavors or smells, as you probably know. Or if you don't know, now you do. Um, so yeah, our setup today. My two Pro Khalil Manu with a chiller, no ice in the chiller. Tangier's Pico Bull. Um, two Coco Jamras. God Hose. And Sewing Panda's Wine Bottle Pour Glass Tip. Yeah. We'll just call it a Mickey Mouse Orb. Trumpet. An Orbit. You can, there, there it's an it Orbit is. Tip. That's what we'll call it. We'll call it the Orbit Tip. Nice clean feeling. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's uh let's show you how this hits. This second, is the second round of coals. Yeah, second round of coals. <laughs> okay, Kelsey wants you to know it's a Christmas ornament. I guess that would make sense. Yeah, I could see it. I don't know. Can you just string around it? Uh, it looks like the end. So as you can see, the... clouds are phenomenal. Oh yeah. Actually, with this one, they're actually like exceptionally big it's weird yeah i think when we start doing tangiers reviews we need to start having a special grading system just for tangiers not like 10 out of 10 because you know no matter what even with some crappy tangiers you get all exceptional clouds so um on tangiers quality like you know rating one out of ten strictly tangiers i don't know that's that's a hard rating to give what about one to five? Four. Four? Yeah. As far as the flavor goes on this, though, it's definitely floral, but it's so mellow that it's it's nice. It's not like rose or jasmine. It's like, it's like cashmere. <laughs> I was being a dickhead. Yeah, the... um. The clouds, I'm going to give them a good 4 out of 5. The best clouds I've ever had with Tangiers came from Cane Mint. Those have been the, by, by far the best I've ever had. But, um... It's a really delicious flavor. It has, like, this nice, juicy peach flavor, kind of like the peach iced tea almost. But with, like, this nice, subtle floral hint in there. Like, it's, it's really nice to have that, like, little balance out. It's not bad at all. I get more of the peach on the inhale and most of the cashmere on the exhale. Yeah. Tyler's. I forgot to mix my heft me. before I open it. Mm. But, um. Sorry. I forgot his head's about this big. <laughs> but, um. Stupid. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, I like the fact that you get the mix of the two flavors in there and it's not overpowering of one. Yeah, I was kind of, I never wanted to buy it before because I always figured 
it was going to be gross floral flavor ish and i just don't like that <laughs> but trying it at a tangier's lounge it was really exceptional i wouldn't smoke it every day no um i, I think, think i would get either. sick of it really quick if i did yeah yeah but it's it's a, it's a pretty good flavor it's a very good flavor but yeah so uh rate comment subscribe let us know what you think um what would you rate it oh right that I'm going to give it a good 8 out of 10. It's not a phenomenal flavor. It's not a horrible flavor. It's it's a good I'm, solid. I'm over here somewhere. I would give it... I'm still not, like... <laughs> <laughs> insanely impressed with it. I give it a 7. Just, just for the fact... I would probably give it less if it was more powering of the cashmere. But since it they, he did die down the cashmere a lot, I, I give it a good seven. It makes me wonder though, with his other cashmere flavors, if they're all subtle floral, not like full on floral like this. So that'd no, be nice they to can find probably out. try it. Other cashmere flavors, but I wouldn't buy cashmere itself. Like the just straight cashmere. That would, Is it raining? Just... Probably. Yeah, it's raining outside. Okay, well, hey, what do you know? There's storms coming in. Supposed to hit full force at midnight. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. Yeah. So, like he said, rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let us know what you think. Oh, and then on a random side note, if any of you are watching and you live in California and then you've been reading that thread, um, let us know. I, I, I want to go. Santino's place. No, not Santino. Neiman. Neiman's? Neiman's place. Santino's in Utah. Yeah, that'd be kind of hard to go to. Yeah. Anyways, Neiman's place. Anyway, so, uh, till next time, guys. Monster 17. Summer Shell Faith. Till next time. Smoke <laughs> well.